Hi, I'm Emmerich, and this is my friend Brian driving. We are two time-lapse photographers with one mission, capturing the most beautiful time-lapse videos we possibly can. Back in April 2022, we decided to go on a big adventure, a 2,000 mile road trip to visit five different national parks and Monument Valley during 10 days. We started in LA, stopped at Zion, Bryce Canyon, Arches, Canyonlands, and Dead Horse Point. And we are back here at Arches National Park for a very special session. Today we're going to be doing some astro time lapses. It's been very clear all day long. We don't really know where we're going to be actually, where we're going to be shooting from. And we are almost at the gate right now and I can see there's pretty much no one now. Oh, there's no one. Yes, after 5 p.m. there's no one. We are at Skyland Arch, which is almost at the far end of the park. And since, you know, blue sky, there's not much to shoot during the day. So we decided to shoot around sunset and also Astro. So right now we're doing some location scouting. We found an arch called Skyland Arch, which is perfect because we are very used to shoot skylines. So we're doing some scouting and see what we can shoot today. It's very, it's very high altitude, just a small effort and you feel it, huh? But that arch looks pretty sick! You don't have to go all the way. So we think this composition might work. We have a log, a tree, and then the arch. This is beautiful. Trying to find another composition. We found one, but since we're shooting for the company, we don't want twice the same angle, so we're trying to find a second one. All right, that would be the second shot. A bit more ground. And the stars. We found these two spots. Now it's time to go get the gear. I mean, what time is it actually? 7.33, sunset is in one hour. No, yeah, 45 minutes. You know, it's gonna be full night time two hours from now, so we have some time to set up. We're pretty far out here, so yeah. not many other photographers. Yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the park, so we are pretty far from Moab, which is the biggest light pollution. We're gonna be facing east, which is even better, and there's pretty much no one after dark here, so I feel like it's gonna be such a perfect angle. Yeah. Three fully charged batteries. <laughs> yes. Sir, what's up? Are you ready? Let's go. Astro time. Bye bye. I thought it was a real dog. We have water, beers, and a beautiful sky full of stars waiting for us. I've been carrying stuff like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 miles every day for the last three days. It's like working out. It's like working while working out. Some night views. Yeah, waiting for the stars. That'll be nice. <laughs> so my camera here. I have such a beautiful view. There's a log, like a dead tree, another live tree, and then the skyline arch in the back. Everyone is living right now. The sun has set about 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago. So now we're just waiting for the stars to show up. You can see it's a very dark around. I am facing away from the camera. I'm still doing my day to night. Uh, it's still kind of dusk, so it's like a dusk, dusk to night transition using, uh, you know, the manual mode of my camera. So I'm also doing an interval ramping, so from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, and then uh, sh changing the shutter speed to 25, and then my picture is at 2.8, and I saw probably 2,000 or 3,200, th I think something like this. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really quiet, there's not a single sound around beside my voice and a kid's crying over there. I think it's haunted, but... No, there's a campground right, right there. It's probably what it is, hopefully. It's hard to tell. I'm scared. <laughs> It's crazy. 
We're already very windy. We almost in Mung Min Valley. You probably recognize this. This is Forest Gum Point. Super windy. I don't know if you can hear me. Forest Gum stopped his trip across the country. Look at the road here. Alright, let's go to what? Uh, Monument Valley, it's only like 15 more miles. A little Kia so Maybe it's better if I unlock it. <laughs> Finally here. After two hours and 45 minutes driving, pretty excited to be back. We had the gate, there's a few cars in front of us, but it should be pretty fast. Um, I don't know, we, there's fee to enter the parks, but I don't know if, uh, if hotel guests have to pay. I'm just gonna ask. If not, well, we'll pay the fees. Ah, made it. It's easier to get to the other door. Oh, this is cool view. Dude, that view is so sick. It's, it's cold in the top floor, too. I'm from this, mate. First thing I'm gonna do is check the view. Because he's cold the view after all. Let's see. Oh my f. <laughs> this is insane! Whoa. <laughs> shit. Holy shit, dude. Okay, this is crazy. Ah. Oh. So you can take this dirt road all the way to the park. This is out of this world. Oh my god. Well, hello there. We took a nap. We're very tired, but we have a beautiful view. Yep, that's the view, the same view. We started shooting, we're gonna do some day tonight astro time lapse here. And uh, just a day tonight over there. Yeah. So this quick time lapse here is going to be focusing more on sunsets, like short interval, maybe three, four seconds max. And I'm using the clamp here to set it up. I have a second tripod. It's just in the car, so I'm a bit lazy. Also, there's a polarizer to get some amazing colors.
we're going to the Grand Canyon today. First stop, it's about 20 minutes away from Waterman Valley. We're gonna get some coffee. Probably should uh, clean the windshield as well because it's uh, we killed a lot of bugs, so let me do that. Oh, gross. We switch. This is a tutorial how to clean a windshield. All clean. Kind of. It's better. It's 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 better. Come on, we're tired. I'm gonna get some uh, very healthy food. I mean, come on, we're on a road trip. Mask. God damn it. I want mask. It's all like fun stuff. I guess Arizona is still like uh, very serious about COVID. Not like California. After almost three hours driving, we are good because it's behind the cars. But there's something here I want to show you. This is probably the, almost the last park we're going to be doing. Grand Canyon. As usual, it's very windy. I wanted to fly my drone before the national park, but it's super windy and it's a 60, 65 miles per hour road, so it's pretty hard to fly a drone when you're here. And obviously, we can't really fly in the national parks, so yeah. But it's okay, we're gonna have some cool footage otherwise. Alright, thank you so much. Have a good one. So we're gonna stop at Lee Pan, is that the name? Lee Pan, Lee Pan, Lee Pan Point. Lee Pan Point. Wow, look at that. So that would be a good sunset spot, but there's no flag, so... But I think the sun's gonna go like right there, so... We made it at the Best Western Premier Grand Canyon Inn, I think that's the name. Uh, in a small town near the Grand Canyon National Park. Four stars hotel. What's your first impression, Mr. Rooms are Ryan? gigantic. This is a nice hotel. We got a pretty cool goodie bag here too and everything. I don't know how to pump gas or open up hotel room doors. A lot of tutorial for Brian this, this trip, huh? Yeah, first time for everything. So yeah, as you could see, we have a deal with Best Western. We've got some free rooms. But we're also responsible for doing some social media posts and stuff like this. So thank you Best Western for making this trip possible. Uh, beside the money, it was just a great experience to stay at your uh, Best Western hotels in Grand Canyon, Arches, and Zion National Parks. I put all the links under this video if you want to know more about all those hotels and maybe book a stay there. <laughs> this is gonna be our dinner tonight. Carbonara. No, there's no carbonara. Oh, sorry, carbonara. <laughs> Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon, sunset. Cheers, man. Fresh IPA. Ah, oh, yes. A nice plate of Alfredo chicken pasta. And you've got some crazy wings. Is it good? Yeah, they're crunchy too, it's good. <laughs> We have a hazy Grand Canyon right now, some high clouds, and I feel like the sun is gonna set exactly right there. You can't see it because it's on the other side of the camera, but let me show you. Look how windy it is. I can almost lose my balance. I'm gonna try to look around if I can find a spot that is a little bit less windy, because uh, I don't know, maybe sometimes the wind just stops, you know, before sunset or around sunset, so. I'll see if I can find a spot where we can set up more tripods and... It looks like the wind is actually coming from the canyon. Because when I put my hand right here, it's like my hand is like going up. Oh wow. Oh my god, it's impossible. 
possible. And that's not good for the camera and the lens. They're always gonna, uh, there is a risk of you know being shaky and obviously end up with blurry images. I feel like we're all still gonna do it, but probably have to adjust a little bit because of this really high gusty winds. And maybe wait half an hour before we start setting up something. But we're doing it, we're doing it. So I'm using my big tripod. I removed the battery grip. I removed the lens hood, obviously no filters. And I'm using this uh, lens support to help a little bit. And it does help. And obviously very low to the ground. And it seems to be working and fast shutter speed. Looks so cool though. It's very cinematic looking. Even though that last session was very challenging between the wind, the haze and facing the sun, I honestly liked how it turned out. I love the different layers of the canyon created by the light and the haze. I think it was the perfect way to end this amazing road trip. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below and I'll see you soon for our next adventure.